Hello guys, Dieter here. At the highest point of Belgium, they have a brewery called Peak Brewery. Like you can see, Peak means of course the highest thing. So uh, let's go and watch what they are making there. So here we see the cozy little bottle shop, of course, with all their with all the beers they have. It's quite already a portfolio, and they have, like you can see, the restaurant over there. And now we're gonna take a look at the brewery. Voila! I was actually shocked by the size, it's quite huge. Big volume and uh, the brewer told me that 30% of this volume is consumed in the restaurant they have here near Peak Brewery. So if you ever want to visit the highest part of Belgium, which is not that high, it's only 690 meters or something, then you can eat here and drink here. Um, quite big lager tanks they also have. Voilà. And here of course they also do some barrel barrel aging. Um, normally they do their triple on barrels. Hello, I'm Raphael from Peak Brewery in uh, High Fans, uh, Surbrot, Belgium. Dag Raphael, uh, Peak Brewery, we're in the highest part of Belgium. How did you manage to make here a brewery? Uh, it was the idea of the two founders of the project and they knew it was a wonderful place for sightseeing and uh, for good water. So they, uh, at the first time they already had the idea to put it here and then the project went on like uh, engineering and studying the, uh, the project. What's so special about this place? You're very close to a nature park and there's a lot of nature here and clean water, but yes. why beer? It's um, like a very, very big sponge full of uh, uh, water and very good water. It's filtered uh, in the ground and very low pH water. So, uh, very good to make uh, light beers and uh, beers that you can um, digest easily, um, digest easily and um, lighter beers. Uh, how many beers do you now have in your portfolio? Mm -hmm. We have uh, four main beers, so one blonde, one uh, brown, one triple and uh, beer with blueberries, which uh, are the local fruits here. And then we have a uh, summer and a winter beer and some IPA. And we also barrel some beers every year. So uh, we used to barrel the triple mainly. And uh, this year we just barreled triple with a Calvados barrel and a rum. Uh, bars. So we just bottled them uh, yesterday, so a few weeks and it's ready. Yeah. Um, tell me a bit, uh, before you were a brewer, what did you do in life? Uh, I used to teach, teach French. Uh, I studied um, languages and literatures and I, I was teaching French abroad, mostly. Yeah. How, how did you become a brewer? Um, I, some, I was uh, working in Chile and some friends uh, offered for my birthday um, day of uh, home brewing teaching. And when I went out, I said, that's what I want to make for, my, for the rest of my life. Uh, and I tried uh, my best to uh, become a brewer. Uh, installation wise, uh, can you tell me a little bit about the ingredients here? You use fresh water from the Belgium nature soil mm -hmm. here, but what about the malt, the hops? So we use um, malt from um, Belgian malteries, mostly uh, Dingemans and uh, Castle Malting. And we use uh, hops from all 
At the moment, only uh, American hops from Yakima Chief uh, hop producers in the US. So very good hops. Uh, what beer style will you never make? Myself? No, for Peak Brewery. We will never make? Yeah. Uh, we have a um, discussion about stouts because some people here like them, uh, us the brewers and uh, others are done. So we would like to, to, to brew stout, but we still don't know if we will do that someday or not. Cool. Uh, final question, what is the most challenging to being a brewer? Uh, here? Yeah, uh, it's um, to uh, keep increasing volumes and keep uh, the quality uh, the same level or uh, even better. That's a big challenge uh, in such a growing brewery and like already quite big brewery.